Hello guys, it's Tyler here, and I am, today I'm going to do a video of my least favorite movies part one, and with a boatload of Skype guests, Bailey Suman, if he sets out, Christopher Rahman, the Wazab, Ray, Hi. and, I don't know who, who that user is right there. Me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, let's end. We're going to be talking about some movies we want to just bury. And, hold on, guys. What the heck? I'm here. Skype crashed for some reason. Alright guys, I'm back. And Skype crashed for some reason. Anyways. Let's start the video, shall we? Anyways. And viewer description is advised. Exactly. Okay. Let's start. Uh, we're missing Ray. Oh, we are? I can't because I'm on a mobile device, but can you, because one of you guys add him back? He's, okay, Ray's back. Now we need to do something. Alright, who wants to go first? Alright. I'll go. Go ahead, Jordan. Alright, let's start with a shitty movie that I can't stand. This movie, oh my god, I saw it in the theater when it came out in 2009, and boy, this movie made me want to throw up for six hours. And this movie what? is Hotel for Dogs. Oh uh, yeah, I hate that movie. I haven't even seen that one yet. Don't see it. It's a waste of time. Good it is. Good advice, indeed. I hated that movie with a fucking passion. <laughs> I, yep, I agree with you. Why is that? Should we, like, talk the plot, or should we just not spoil it? Oh, sorry to interrupt, but, um, if you guys don't know who Jordan is, um, Jordan is also known as the Bazinga Fan 1997, if you're curious. But it does beside the point. Go ahead. Alright. Hotel for Dogs. Star it has a story of two kids has a dog named Friday, which which is a which is a bizarre name for a dog. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I saw that movie. I only saw it once because how much I hated that movie. But then these kids get into all sorts of trouble and all that. Well, like I say, the movie has the worst storyline, and I thought the jokes were just not even funny. I was bored as hell when I saw it in the theater. I would should have never even seen that movie in the first place. I think it's probably like one of the worst pet movies I ever saw in my entire life. Agreed, and it wasn't even cute either. Mm. If you want a better movie about dogs, check out Cats and Dogs or... Yeah, the movie wasn't that bad, the first one. Homeward Bound. Those are better movies about animals. Yes, than this piece of crap. I even think it's... I think it's not... I think it's even worse than Beverly Hills. Oh, yeah, that movie was also pretty bad. But this, the whole type of dogs is ten times worse. Anyone wants to talk about that movie? Well, thanks for the advice, and now I will want, I will see it, but now I find out that movie is stupid. Yeah. What about you, Ray? You got any thoughts about this crappy movie? You can only hear me, not you guys. Oh, man. So, Chris, can you ask him? Well, what was the question again? Uh, what's his opinion about the movie Hotel for Dogs? Well, if he's seen it. What is your opinion about Hotel for Dogs? Hotel for Dogs. I'm oh, sorry, guys. It's because on Skype he put a question mark. I think he's not understanding what that movie is. Okay. Should 
Should I go ahead and state my thoughts? Go ahead, buddy. What I have to say is this movie is so bad, and um, it's not even cute. If you want an animal movie that's cute, check out Milo Notice. Uh, in the first Cats and Dogs, the sequel sucked. Um, Homeward Bound. Homeward Bound, yes. Watch that one. Or Air Bud or something. Or maybe even Air Bud. Yeah, I say the first two, probably. The third one's probably a skip. And I've never seen Air Bud Strikes Back, Spikes Back, but Air Bud 4, I mean, Seventh one. Inning Fancha might need to rewatch. But the last time I saw it, I didn't like it. Oh, you know what else? If you want a good movie about dogs, watch Lady and the Tramp. Yes, I haven't forgotten about that one. Um, so, uh, let me ask uh, Dwayne for a moment. So, oops, how I... do you know what uh, Hotel for Dog is, right? What is your opinion on it? Still don't really understand it. Would you mind, uh, can one of you explain the plot about Hotel for Dogs? The plot of Hotel for Dogs is like, I, I, I forgot because I haven't I seen the movie forever. Us, yeah, he can't hear, hear you guys. He can only hear me. Yeah. You might want to explain it in a text on Kylo. The thing is, I, I probably haven't seen this movie since like 2010 either. That's the only thing, though. I'll just type it. Alright. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys, we're taking so long. It's just... We just kind of... We just want um, Ray to also express his thoughts. I know it may not be the correct plot, but that's all I can remember. Yeah, the, uh, Ray, the plot for um, Hotel for Dogs says the movie about two kids who has a dog called Friday, and they get into a source of trouble by bringing the dog to a hotel. Now, Ray, now you know the plot of the hotel of the movie. What would you like to say? He put a lot of question marks again. Can you hear me, Ray? Guys, should we just move on to the next movie? Yeah. yeah. So we're already eight minutes in. Um. Um. I have one. What? Barney's Great Adventure. Oh, I was gonna say that. Yeah. Oh, it's so bad. Oh God. This is what I thought of. I got, here's my thoughts on the movie, but I have to do what I'm, um, I have to kind of talk just in case because it's, because I can, because if I do it, and because Ray can't hear me, he might think that I'm disgusted over him. Maybe. Uh, where is this? This is what I think of that movie. Yeah. Alright, go ahead and explain the thoughts. It is such a childish piece of... Oh, I, I don't even know what it's a piece of. It's I can't even describe it. It's such... Oh. 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 oh, God. This movie is killing me. Oh, it's awful. Barney Terrible movie. Terrible. Barney! Oh, God. Yeah. Ugh, no, this movie makes me want to puke. It's so childish. I mean, this movie is not for anybody over the age of two. So anybody else want to explain their thoughts? What about you, Ray? Now, the thing is, I've been watching 
Oh, yeah. And all you say is that movie is just horrible. The songs are annoying. The, the plot is terrible. Everything about this movie is terrible. Yes. Annoying. Annoying indeed. That's how I Ray has never seen it. Uh, Ray, what's about it? Barney, Great Adventures is... Or he, or he didn't see, um, Hotel for Dogs. Yeah, true, maybe. Oh, that's, that might be the one. Here's my plot on, uh, let me tell you the plot of the, um... Of Barney! The oh. Adventure. Uh, Barney, yeah. Great Adventure is about... Oh, he said he's never seen both. Barney's Great Adventure is um, where three kids, I think, um, lived to, were visiting, uh, uh, um, with their grandparents. Yeah, grandparents. <laughs> and they're fa- with their, the farm there. A certain topic that's happening that they were trying to go after an egg. That's stupid. A freaking they, egg? And, oh, and wow. An egg in various areas. Yeah, the songs are annoying, by the way. But anyways, Ray, now you know the plot. What is your opinion on that movie? What? He what? Let me look at that. He's he worried. Why are you worried, Ray? I think he probably just did him on or something. Oh yeah, him again. That's probably the reason. Ugh, like him again. Huh? Oh, no. What's going on, Ray? Is it about Digimon again? Oh, God. Might want to stop the video for a moment, Tyler. Alright, stay tuned for the next part. Something's going on, guys. Stay tuned for the next part.